Good evening. There are new questions tonight about an audit of overtime in the Cincinnati Police Department. Internal department memos show district commanders were told several times in recent years to hold down the overtime. But the OT still topped more than $7 million last year. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch has been investigating this while City Hall seems bogged down in a different controversy. The city manager is a human being. While Cincinnati City Council figures out whether Harry Black will be in or out. The manager has 10 bosses and it brings a lot of confusion, in my opinion, on who is in charge. A key part of the ongoing City Hall controversy has been pushed to the side. The audit of police department overtime. Yes, we need to get back to it. We've gotten sidetracked by something that takes us away, unfortunately, from city business. The audit, done by the police department itself, said inordinate amounts of the department's $7.3 million in 2017 overtime had been awarded to selected officers and supervisors. The audit did not accuse anyone of wrongdoing, but did list the top five overtime earners in supervisory ranks. Number one among captains, District 5's Bridget Bardua, more than $82,000 in OT. And one of Bardua's sergeants, Jason Volkerding, was the top overtime earner in the entire department. 2,100 hours of OT, $126,000. Just before the audit was leaked to the Cincinnati Enquirer last month, Bardua filed a federal employment complaint against the city, alleging sexual discrimination and harassment. Barta was said she was being treated differently than any other commander in the department and said when she took over District 5, rules for things like overtime and personnel assignments began to be applied differently. She blamed Captain Jeff Butler, then Assistant Chief Dave Bailey, and Assistant Chief Paul Newdigate. But some internal police memos show that in at least some instances, all captains, Bardo included, were told the same thing by police top brass, keep overtime in check. As early as November 2015, Bailey sent this out to captains, outlining perceptions and reality. Perception, the police department has unlimited funds and overtime really doesn't need to be monitored. Reality, false. As public employees entrusted with public monies, we are responsible for prudent financial management. Overtime should be avoided whenever possible. September 1st, 2016, from Newdigate to captains. Commanders are sending people to staff events where they end up incurring overtime that could be avoided, overtime that would be investigated. May 10th, 2017, from Newdigate again. We have exhausted almost all incremental OT for the fiscal year. We need to be very discerning in what meetings and events we absolutely need to attend, as well as the number of officers attending for the next six weeks. Be very judicious in overtime approval. Those were to all captains. There was also an exchange between Bridget Bardua and Paul Newdigate, April 10, 2017, where Bardua asked for help covering a temporary staff shortage. Newdigate made suggestions and said, I know you're hurting, I haven't forgotten. That memo could be interpreted two different ways. One, it could show that Bridget Bardua was trying to manage the overtime in that situation. But it could also show that Far from treating her unfairly, Assistant Chief Newdigate was trying to help. So lots of questions remain. The newspaper leak was one reason Assistant Chief Dave Bailey was forced out by Chief Elliot Isaac and City Manager Black. Bailey denies being the leaker. The bar to a complaint is still out there, but also out there, a lot of your money apparently should not have been spent on police overtime. Who approved it and why? Of course. Uh, <laughs> You know, interestingly, that's, what, that's how this all started, and there were some serious uh, issues that were raised by that audit. We do have to get back to that at some point. Police Chief Elliot Isaac has said the audit was leaked before it was reviewed and finished. The police department will now work with the city's internal audit agency to look everything over, and ultimately, city council will, as David Mann said, want to get to the bottom of all of this. Back to you. Jeff, thanks very much. It's sometimes hard to tell the players in this saga without a scorecard. District 5 Captain Bridget Bardawa was transferred recently to the vice squad. Captain Jeff Butler, who supervised the overtime audit, has been shifted to the academy. City Council is about to begin a fact-finding investigation of whether City Manager Harry Black was rude and abusive to some city employees. Black has refused Mayor John Cranley's request to resign and says he has no concerns about his professional